Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a game from Game Maker Studio 2 online for download. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your project. By the way, you have to have the Creators Edition or above to be able to do this. Um, I'm using the Creators Edition of Game Maker Studio 2 currently. All right, so I'm going to go click Build and then I'm going to create an executable alright now I'm gonna click package as zip so I'm gonna go ahead and package this as a zip and I'm gonna save it right over here Fort Zero Games Avenged and there we are let that do its thing real quick awesome so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to go to the website. The website is called itch.io. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. I might not be. I will have the link in the description. Okay. Once you come to the website's main page, you're going to create an account. After you create an account, you're going to click the top down menu at the top right. Click on dashboard. Then you are going to click on create new project. After you click create new project, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Go ahead and give it a title. You can give it a cover image. I'm not going to give this one a cover image. I don't really have one yet. It's going to put the title of your game by this uh, in this URL here, so you can copy this and give it to your friends or whatsoever. Easy way for them to get to your game. You can also give your game a short description. Um, classification. Mine is a game, a piece of software you can play kind of project. This is going to be a downloadable file. Release status. I'm going to set mine as released. You have a bunch of options here in development on hold. And the pricing. Zero or donate. Paid. No payment. I'm going to keep mine on zero or donate. It'll give them an option if they want to donate money or not. I have that set to two dollars by default. So once you get to this area right here, uploads. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so I can re-upload it. Uh, you're going to click upload files and you're going to click on the zip file you just uh, created the executable saved it you're going to click on that uh, zip and it's going to upload it awesome so I have it set as an executable and I have it set for Windows so it's an executable file uh, and it's downloadable on Windows it's for Windows platform alright so the file size limit is 750 megabytes, but you know it says you can contact them for more space. I haven't really had to. My games are pretty short. So you can add a description to your game, uh, genre, set mine to action, uh, tags to help it uh, help people be able to find your game easier. Uh, download instructions. Uh, I don't think that's really needed. I hope not. And then uh, right over here where it says let anyone with itch.io account interact with you and other players. All right. So you can enable comments, basically. I have mine enabled. You can disable them. I think they're disabled by default, but uh, I enable mine. Visibility and access. Whenever you get to this part, it's going to be automatically set as draft. All right. If your game is not complete and uh, you just want to put it on here and kind of update it, you know, every once in a while and then you but you're not ready for people to see it yet go ahead and keep it on draft that's what I have this set as if you're ready for it to everybody to view it uh, put their two cents on it click public all right I'm gonna keep mine as draft though so that nobody can see this because it's not a finished game okay once you save that click view page and it's gonna take you here if you click, so here you have the title of the game, it's an action RPG, more information, it's released for the Windows platform, and the author is Fort Zero, genre action, okay? And this is where, you know, people can leave a comment, you know, after they download and play it. So I'm going to go ahead and download the game. No, just take me to the downloads. I'm download that. Uh, I'm actually going to take this and put it up here. Here. Okay, so now you have, you, you know, I just downloaded the zip, so I'm going to extract it. I'm just going to go ahead and extract it here. There we are. 
And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it'll give you the uh, .exe and the .win. Just click, click the game and play it. It's that simple. Real easy stuff. If it runs. <laughs> I hope it runs. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, so that, that, that does it. And I haven't had any problems with this yet. All my games have run smooth. Um, my next tutorial, I'm actually going to go over uh, the cross-platform with HTML5. So you can play your game. You can actually upload your games onto this website and play your games uh, in the browser if you have the HTML5 cross-platform, which I think is $150 right now. So anyway, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you all got something out of it. And uh, till next time.